in today's gospel, um, we're reminded, I think, really about the importance of an encounter with the risen Lord and faith. That really is the beginning of God initiating this relationship with us. And until that happens, we can't believe. He has to give us this gift of faith. And he initiates that. And his challenge to the people that are questioning him is they're questioning him without faith. Um, you know, there's a history of that um, in the Christian world, and it never goes well for those people who do it. Um, we all find ourselves in that situation at times. I think for many years I would question God and demand that God present himself to me on my terms. And that really didn't work out well for me. Uh, until my early 30s, I, I couldn't answer a lot of questions. And then I, it was, then I had a conversion. I had an encounter with the risen Lord, a personal encounter. That's what Jesus is calling us all to. And if you look at his disciples, you look at his apostles, and you look at the people that follow him in the Gospels, that's what they have. So faith comes first, and then... That light of faith allows us to glean understanding through his works, through his teachings, through his presence in our lives as to who his identity is, who he truly is, that he is the Lord, the risen Lord, and he's our Lord, and he calls us to intimacy with him and the Father and the Son, ultimately forever. But brothers and sisters, I just challenge you, if you've never asked for the gift of faith, you struggle with the teachings of the church at the time, or is God present, God uh, real to me in my life? Pray for that. Ask for that gift. Come before God in your poverty and ask him for the gift of faith that you long for an encounter with him. And then you will find that maybe the questions that you have about his identity or maybe even questions you struggle with about our faith and what the church teaches in difficult areas that you will experience the light of Christ and you will glean understanding in those areas that uh, Jesus will show you that those things are his will and his call on your life. It will be easier to accept those things and live them out. And the promise always is that the good shepherd, when we do that uh, and we're prompted by his voice and obedient to it, that he will always lead us to the rich and abundant life life as it was meant to be lived. May God continue to bless.